no secret that 2021 has been a controversial year for James Charles, and it feels like every week there are more damaging accusations against him. But were there warning signs that his downfall would happen all along? Let's get into it. James Charles has basically been synonymous with controversy since he broke onto the scene. Back in 2017, after being named CoverGirl's first cover boy, James faced his first major backlash after he made a joke about Ebola and Africa that did not sit well with fans. Since then, James has gotten caught up in drama with everyone from fellow YouTubers to celebs like Ariana Grande and Finn Wolfhard. And we will never forget one of James' biggest scandals to date from May 2019, when fellow YouTuber Tati Westbrook publicly ended their friendship with her bi sister video. But since the massive cancellation he faced from that video, James built his career back up despite continuing to face criticism along the way. He took part in controversial challenges, got caught saying the N-word while singing, and attended large parties during the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic. But none of that stopped him from continuing to produce content and gain millions of followers. Things took a turn in 2021, though, when James faced allegations of grooming a 16-year-old fan. In February, James vehemently denied these allegations, saying the accusations were completely false. But it wasn't long before more and more Miners accused James of flirting with them and having inappropriate conversations. At the time, Insider reported that multiple boys who were seemingly under the age of 18 made social media posts alleging that James, quote, solicited nude photographs from them, sent them explicit photos, or sent sexually explicit messages. This Twitter user responded to James's post writing, quote, James, we both know I blocked you. You never asked for my age. After I told you I was 16, you proceeded to ask me for nudes and said it didn't matter. You called me hot and said, I wish the timeline could speed up so you can be 18. And other minors took to TikTok and shared their experiences and conversation with James on the platform. Eventually, by April 2021, James addressed the allegations and admitted his wrongdoing. These conversations should have never happened, point blank period. There's no excuse for it, there's no if, ands, or buts, and I take full responsibility for that. I trusted the information that was given to me rather than the information I could have and should have gotten myself. He apologized for his behavior and admitted how he got himself into this situation in the first place. It sucks and it is ridiculously embarrassing to admit this, but I think I have to, and that is that I'm desperate. And in his apology video, James claimed that he didn't want to be in a relationship with a younger person, but this clip from a previous interview went viral where James contradicted himself. I'm not physically attracted to older guys, which sucks. Like I would date like the absolute youngest, like 18, 19, that looks a little bit old. And others pointed out that Tati Westbrook had actually brought up James having inappropriate conversations with minors in her original Bi Sister video. But when the internet turned back onto James's side, the behavior continued. Well, everyone was getting dragged for calling James out for said behavior. Said behavior was being continued for two years. So should James's fans and his brand partners have seen this coming all along? Well, regardless, major brands like Morphe started to drop James as these allegations continued to emerge. And he was also removed from his role as the host and executive producer of his YouTube series, Instant Influencer. In mid-April, James then released another statement saying he'd be taking legal action against people who have spread misinformation because not everyone who was coming forward with allegations was telling the truth. James confirmed that some of the accusations against him were true in his video, but one 15-year-old TikToker came forward and said that he fabricated the allegations he made about James sending him inappropriate messages. I'm coming on to just apologize to absolutely everyone about the James Charles situation messaging, but it is fake and it was my stupid, stupid, irresponsible idea to even do that, to try and ruin someone else's career. The drama James has faced in 2021 hasn't only had to do with this situation though. He also is tied up in legal drama with one of his former employees over allegations of wrongful termination and mistreatment. 
James had remained quiet on social media for a couple months following the grooming allegations as he said he was taking time to reflect and get help. But he broke his silence after it was revealed that James was being sued by his former employee Kelly Rockline, who worked as his video editor and producer. In the court docs, Kelly alleged that she was working in two different job roles for James, which left her working 12 hours a day, almost seven days a week, without any overtime pay and despite being promised a raise that never came to fruition. James took to social media to deny these allegations. The fact that this is like even attempting to become a narrative makes me feel like sick to my stomach because it is wildly, wildly untrue and I am so grateful for the people around me. We're not going to get into all the other details of this lawsuit because it's very complex and detailed, but the lawsuit is available online if you're interested in reading more about it. But since James shared this video defending himself, Kelly revealed that she's been receiving death threats from some of James's fans. In that same video where James discussed the situation with Kelly, he also addressed a recent racist tweet that appeared on his old Twitter account. A fan on TikTok had uncovered James's old account, James Charles, with two S's, and last fall, the account had one random tweet for the first time in years that included a racial slur directed towards Jeffree Star. This is just perfect convenient timing as well, considering this past weekend, my old Twitter account, which I have not accessed since 2016, and it only has one tweet, I guess was hacked last year, and the hacker publicly tweeted somebody the N-word, and people actually thought that it was me. James denied ever tweeting this and hasn't spoken out again since addressing both this scandal and Kelly's lawsuit in that one video. But according to some of James's friends like Noah Beck, despite all of this year's drama, he's still planning on making a comeback. Do you think we'll see a return? Do you think Definitely. he's gonna get back Definitely. with- He's James Charles, he'll be back. All right, so yeah. he'll be back. Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll just have to wait and see if James makes a return to his YouTube channel and social platforms in 2021 after a very controversial start to the year. We will definitely Definitely keep you guys posted if we hear anything else about James's potential comeback. But for now, if you want more on James Charles, click right over here for another Clever News video. Then hop to the comments and let me know what you think of all this controversy surrounding James and if you think he'll be making a comeback soon. As always, I'm your host Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel and I'll see you next time.